Hi, my name is Andrea Martinez Crowther, and together with the amazing actor Tenoch Huerta, whom you will all recognize from Narcos, where he plays the role of Rafa Caro Quintero. He's also been in films like Sin Nombre, Dias de Gracia, Bel Canto with Julianne Moore. I really think he's one of the most talented actors I know today. So I'm really excited to be with him working on a project called Tear. You may be asking yourselves, what is Tear? Tear is actually a very simple button on a scale that allows you to reset. So if you put your bowl, press tear, and it goes back to zero. You put in 400 grams of flour, press tear, and it goes back to zero. It's a way of resetting, taking into account what's already there. And so in a way, it's like beginning again without forgetting what you've already lived. Terror is like a road movie that takes place in Mexico City over the course of one night between two people who have very deep wounds and who help each other to heal. It's a story that we believe that in times of this pandemic it can touch so many hearts because it's about healing. It's about loss and it's about healing. Just a bit about myself. This is my fourth film. My first film, Insignificant Things, was executively produced by Guillermo del Toro whom you all know very well from Pan's Labyrinth, The Shape of Water, among many other excellent films. I'm a filmmaker who writes and directs from a very personal standpoint. Ciclo, my second film, is about my father and uncle's bicycle road journey from Mexico to Canada in 1956. And it's an exploration of the cycles of life, the passage of time, family, love, Birdwatching, my third film, is about a woman who has Alzheimer's and decides to make a movie to say goodbye to life, celebrating life. My mother had Alzheimer's and birdwatching was born from my fear of actually suffering the same as she did. Birdwatching just won People's Choice Award in Los Cabos last November, and I know it's a film that's going to touch many, many people's hearts. Tear is born from a loss. Jerry, my partner and the love of my life, died suddenly in October 2018, and the sadness that I was engulfed in ended up making its way into a screenplay. And it's about loss, but it's also about moving on and accepting the pain and the absence and the sadness that is inherent in life, that we cannot avoid and that also makes it beautiful. Tenoch and I started working on this project a year ago. We started writing it together, developing the characters, developing the story more, and we want to shoot it in October of 2020 with a very, very small crew. But we need your help to make it happen. We're doing a fundraising campaign. We want to be the first Mexican film to do crowdfunding during the pandemic. <laughs> and as well a shot during the pandemic, because clearly this is not going to end soon. So, you know, we'll be taking our, the necessary precautions, but Terror is precisely the kind of film that can be made during a crisis like this. We need to raise $35,000, and I'm convinced we're going to do it. We believe that these kinds of films are the kind of films that should be made right now, especially films that are born from the heart and the gut, and that aim to touch people and to move people. And that's why we're here, because we want you to be a part of it. We are offering people who contribute rewards. Most of them are in Mexico City because I am the proud and happy owner of Gallo Huero, which is the restaurant that the love of my life, Jerry, set up. And Gallo Huero has become a very big part of the story as well as of our whole crowdfunding campaign. So a lot of the events will take place in Gallo Huero. But for those of you who are not in Mexico City, we will definitely find a way of rewarding you. Um, among other things, Tenoch is going to be giving Zoom serenades. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we will also be sending out postcards and po and posters signed, and and we will find a way of reaching out to you because uh, we really want you to be a part of this, and we want you to feel like 
It's your effort also that is making this happen. So please follow us, activate your notifications, and help us spread the word. Thank you, thank you, thank you for helping us to make this happen. Is this okay, Andrea? Sure, I'm in.